Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story comes from London and it involves a conspiracy to kill a man outside a nightclub in Soho. Three men have been jailed for 40 years in connection to the attempted murder of a man that was lucky to survive the reckless shooting. The men were jailed at Woolwich Crown Court on the 14th of April 2021. Robert Palmer, 39 years old, from Ealing, was jailed for 15 and a half years. Balany Roberts from Ealing also was jailed for 15 years. Robert Dolan from Hounslow was jailed for 12 and a half years. Palmer pleaded guilty at an earlier hearing to attempted murder, possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life, and transferring a prohibited firearm. He was found not guilty of another count of transferring a prohibited firearm following a trial. Roberts was found guilty of four counts of possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life, and possession of ammunition with intent to endanger life. He previously pled guilty at a hearing about transferring a prohibited firearm also. He was also convicted of possession of unlicensed ammunition, five counts of possession of a prohibited firearm to transfer, and two counts of possession with intent to supply. He was found not guilty of another count of moving a firearm to be sold. In relation to the Beretta that was supplied to Palmer for the attempted murder shooting, Dolan pleaded guilty for assisting an offender, conspiracy to supply, and possession of criminal property. The court heard that at 12.30 on the 25th of August 2019, Palmer was a passenger in a silver Jaguar, which was parked up on Rupert Street in Soho. He was captured on CCTV attending a nearby nightclub, and at 3 o'clock in the morning, a fight broke out inside the nightclub that resulted in a man being stabbed. The nightclub was closed, and the fight was carried out into the street. There was two groups involved in the altercation and, and Palmer ran after his victim. He drew a Beretta handgun from his bag that resulted in screams from innocent people in the street. One man was heard telling the victim to run and Palmer caught up with the victim who was aged in his 20s and fired two shots at him in the middle of a busy street full of passers-by. Both of the shots hit the victim in the back and Palmer then ran to the Jaguar and the car drove off from the scene at 3.20. The victim went to hospital shortly after 3.30 with gunshot wounds while he suffered and he took himself there and he suffered damage to his internal organs. Thankfully, his injuries were not life-threatening, although this could have easily have been a different situation. The victim was, who was stabbed in the nightclub was taken to hospital by the ambulance service and his injuries were also non-life-threatening. Detectives from the Specialist Crime Command attended the scene of the shooting and found two bullet casings and they began reviewing CCTV and they spoke to witnesses and, and put together a picture of what happened and who was involved. As part of their inquiries, they had to find the silver Jaguar that was found parked outside of the dress in Ruslip on the 26th of August 2019. Detectives examined the car and found Palmer's fingerprints on the rear doors. Inquiries revealed that Palmer met up with Roberts the day after the shooting to get rid of the Beretta. Following a chase and a struggle, Roberts was arrested on the 27th of August 2019 in the West Acton area of London. He was searched and the officers found £48,000 on him as well as 0.6 of a kilo of heroin and 14 kilos of crack cocaine with a street value of £27,000. Police also found sets of keys to an address in Coldridge Drive in the same area, but this was not his home address. Detectives conducted a search of this address on the 23rd of August 2019, where they found firearms and ammunition hidden in a rucksack inside an airing cupboard, as well as a significant amount of Class A drugs in the living room. 
They found two and a half keys of heroin valued at £65,000. All five of the firearms that were seized went for testing and were found to be in working order and viable. Among the items recovered was the loaded Beretta that was used in the shooting on Rupert Street. There was complete with ammunition and also a silencer. The court was told that Roberts was a quartermaster for individuals who needed access to firearms and ammunition and he could produce them upon demand. On the afternoon of the 26th of August 2019, Detectives established that there was mobile phone contact between Palmer and Roberts and Southside and AMPR suggested that Roberts went to Palmer's address and drove them both to Coldridge Drive where Roberts kept the weapons and ammunition. After becoming aware of Roberts' arrest, Palmer decided to hide himself away to evade being arrested by the police and he was assisted in doing this by Dolan. On the 29th of August, he repeatedly used his mobile phone to contact Palmer and Dolan and Dolan made a number of calls to hotels in the local area. The court heard on the 28th of August 2019, Dolan and Palmer had a conversation where they discussed the shooting of Roberts and that the police had arrested the wrong person. Palmer was worried that he was caught on CCTV and they found the fingerprints on the Jaguar. The conversations resulted in Dolan agreeing to take Palmer to a hotel in the Harwell area. In the early hours of the 29th of August 2019, Dolan and Palmer were at a takeaway together in the Hounslow area of West London. They were then seen travelling to the hotel in Harwell and Dolan entered the hotel, but to room and provided his mobile phone number to staff and then he left the hotel and went home. A short time later, Palmer entered and walked towards the rooms. Palmer stayed at the hotel and was arrested there in the early hours of the 30th of August 2019. Dolan was also arrested on the same day at his address in the Teddington area where officers seized a shoebox containing £6,800 and a mobile phone. And they also found the phone number that was given to staff the day before. All three men were subsequently convicted of the attempted murder. Detective Sergeant Chris Ladmore, investigating from the Crime Command, said the operation started off as an attempted murder and this led to discovering a massive haul of weapons and drugs and silencers. This just goes to show how one situation can then lead to the downfall of everything that you had set up. They say the sentences are a testament to everybody in London who believes that they can be involved in guns and drugs and gang lifestyle. We will arrest you and we will convict you, said the officer in the case. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story. I thought it was a really interesting story and definitely goes to show how quickly things can unravel, especially when drink is usually involved. So I really appreciate you joining me for this episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.